This is KPI Crunch. It's a product I stumbled upon the other day while I was browsing around on Indie Hackers. And KPI Crunch can help you find all of your competitors, give you a deep analysis in any given industry. Let me show you how it works. The reason why it's so important you know your competitors are both for inspiration, but also so you can make yourself stand out. And if you don't know all of your competitors, then don't worry because this is also something KPI Crunch can help you with. So there are two ways of using KPI Crunch, either if you know all of your competitors or if you do not know all of your competitors. So let's start with the one where we do not know all of our competitors. So on the website here, it is very simple right now. And the best thing about KPI Crunch is that it's completely free to use. So on the front page here, we can do a search on a specific niche. It can be your own niche or a niche that you want to enter by simply entering your title for the digital landscape search. We enter the primary domain and just one of your competitors. And if you don't know any of your competitors, then take your main keyword, go to Google and search for it. And then at least one of your competitors will show there. So you can enter it here and KPI crunch will take care of the rest. So let's enter here AI copywriting tools. That will be the name of our report. And the primary domain will use jasper.ai. And for the direct competitor, let's use peppertype.ai as well. So now we'll press get keywords. And what KPI Crunch is doing now is via multiple APIs and in-house methods, it's now pulling all of the necessary data into us so we can choose the keywords relevant for our search here. So you can see when I scroll down, we now have a bunch of keywords and you can now choose up to 40 different keywords. And these keywords are then used to find your competitors. So the more precise keywords you choose and the more keywords you choose, the more competitors and the more precise competitors you will see. So I will choose some different keywords here. So all of the keywords in this case made very well sense. So I took all of them and now I press find competitors. Now KPI Crunch is basically finding all of the websites that are ranking on these specific keywords and then they are listing them for us. So we will now get a list of all of our competitors shown right here on KPI Crunch. So if we scroll down, we will see all of the competitors here and it is mixed in between. We have some that makes a lot of sense, but a website like Quora doesn't make a lot of sense. That is more like a forum. So of course the data still needs some work, but let's take this one, for instance, copymatic.ai. Let's take longshot.ai as well. And some of the other AI writers that I know at least. A great add-on here would be if they could sort them by what they found most relevant. So in the top, we would have all of the AI copywriting tools. And then in the bottom, we could have all of those who maybe would be relevant for us, but not necessarily. So while I pick these, we are now ready to analyze the landscape. And when I press analyze the landscape, we now take a step deeper into the analysis here. So scrolling down, you can see all of the domains that I chose. Now KPI crunch is crunching through all of the data to find open page rank, how the presence is on Google, SEO in general and all of the different social media. And again, for the social media, you can see here that a lot of these tools are using Twitter. Some are using Facebook, some LinkedIn. It's a little bit mixed, but none of them are using TikTok in this case. So if I were to build an AI copywriting tool, I would definitely use TikTok as a source to find revenue and find those who need this AI copywriting tool, because apparently there is an open market for it right there or maybe there is a reason for why they haven't done it yet. But one thing I would like to see here is a more deep analysis for the social media, because as you can read up here right now, it can only find the social media accounts if they are present on the website. So if the website has a social media, but they're not linking to it on the website, then it won't be shown here. So a nice add on could be that, KPI crunch algorithm actually went to the social media and then search for this specific brand to see if they had a channel or if they had a profile somewhere. But now you can see that it's almost done. It is crunching through the last four results 
And for each of these, you can see that we have the traffic per month. We have pages indexed, how their open page rank is, and again, their social media. So using these, you can sort by pages indexed, you can sort by traffic per month. And then based on this, you can find out who are the competitors leading this industry and who are the competitors closest to me. So in this case, jasper.ai was our primary domain, which means that that's our business that we are doing this specific analysis for. And right now, jasper.ai in this bunch of AI copywriting tools is doing the best if we take a look at the traffic per month. But if we move over, then we can see the engagement rate on Facebook is very low. And if we do it on Instagram as well, then we can see that Story Lab here is actually doing a lot better. So this is great again for inspiration because Story Lab is a great way that we can go and see what are they doing on Instagram. And based on what they are doing on Instagram, we should be inspired and do more or less the same thing. And the same goes for YouTube here. That's a different AI tool which are doing great on YouTube. So I think all of this data is just great to crunch through, to find your competitors, to see what they're doing differently than you. So you can do the same things or maybe do it in your own style, but at least get inspired by it so you can achieve the same results right here. Now let's try and make a new search where we do know some of our competitors. So the same thing goes that we will enter here AI copywriting. Again, we'll choose our primary domain to be jasper.ai and we will not enter a direct competitor. Instead, we will add a list. So here I'll add websites like copy.ai. Let's add niches as well and peppertype.ai. So now we have these three competitors we want to use and now we skip the keyword part because we only want to create an analysis on these four domains together. So by pressing analyze this landscape, you can see that we get to the same view we saw before. And then we have these four domains down here that we're only analyzing on. All of these reports are saved on your account over here to the left. So you can always go in and check them out to see if there's something that you need to improve. And one thing could be that one week ago you made a report. Now it's time to make a new report to see your domain. How is it doing between all of your competitors? So this competitive analysis is just so thorough and you get so much data out that you can act on. I think the way they serve the data makes it so easy to find those holes that you can go in and really own that specific either social media or maybe it's a branch within Google, but you can also get inspired to find those who do best on a specific social media and then not copy paste what they're doing, but at least get inspired again and then do it in your own style. Now, if I have to say one thing that could be a really interesting feature to add to KPI Crunch, it could be a step deeper, both into the Google, but also into all of the social media. It will be so interesting to see what articles pulls the most traffic and what type of social media posts pulls the most interaction or maybe most likes. Those steps deeper into the different channels will help us improve even further. But overall, I hope that the founder, Fred, will just continue to improve the data sets because the data sets is what really makes KPI crunch. And talking about future, then they're definitely working on some interesting things. They're working on adding more historical data so we can see maybe rankings over time. They're adding more data about the business so we can see the amount of employees. Maybe we can see when they were founded, where they're located and so much more about the specific business. So I will say that the future is definitely bright for KPI crunch. And even though KPI Crunch is right now in beta and it's a free product, it is definitely worth your time going in and making a competitive analysis for your industry. So based on all of this, I want to give KPI Crunch three and a half stars. The data we get out is great, but I really want to see them take a step deeper into all of this data to serve us even more data that we can improve on. And if you want to take a look at Topic Mojo, which does this right now, then you can watch my review up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.